going old John Hancock here and today I want to talk about the Sega Genesis Mini. Sega just announced its final list of all the games included on the Sega Genesis Mini and overall they did a pretty awesome job. However, there are about five titles that I would not include and switch them out with other titles. As you can see behind me, I have the complete Sega Genesis library and in this video I take physical copies pop them in my Mega SG and talk about the titles that I would replace and what titles I would replace them with. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video. So here is the final list for the Sega Genesis Mini. Not a bad list. There's definitely some shockers on here, including the Tetris game, a new port of Darius, but there's about five games on here that I would swap out and replace with better games. This is Eternal Champions. And the big problem with this game is that it's a so-so fighting game. Yes, Sega made it. And, you know, there's a Sega CD version which is actually better. But, you know, for this to be included, it, it works better with a six-button controller. It really is a better game with a six-button controller. So that's my opinion that this game needs to be replaced. Because it's, it, it's, it's an okay fighting game. There's a lot of cool moves and stuff. This fighting game, to me, is not that great. I think that it's it's got complicated moves. With Street Fighter 2 already included with the Sega Genesis Mini, this definitely does not need to be on here. The Sega Genesis Mini needs a sports game, and one of the best sports games on the system is Mutant League Football. I really like this sports game, and the nice thing about it is that it would have to deal with less licenses going the route of Mutant League Football. There was probably a reason why Mutant League Football wasn't included on this compilation. I didn't see any EA titles. But if you're going to get a sports game, especially to a non-sports crowd, Mutant League Football is awesome. So take like your Madden Football, add monsters, and you know, just a cool, it's just, it's really cool. If you play Madden Football, you're going to be right at home here. Uh, with with the additions of lots of funny dialogue. It makes fun of team names. Uh, you can even bribe the ref. <laughs> and it's just a, it's just a great game. So it plays a lot like Madden, but in my opinion, a lot better. And it's a lot of fun. I'm going to be honest. I hate this version of this game. I don't think that it should be on here. It's an average game at best. It's you know, this is just a shell of what Virtua Fighter is. They should not have this version of Virtua Fighter on this collection. I am a fan of Virtua Fighter series, but to me, I don't even consider the 16-bit version a version of it. You know, it's it's okay. I mean, it's just so far from what I think of Virtua Fighter that it shouldn't be included. And, you know, it's just a mediocre fighting game. You know, they already have Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition on the collection and so this is just something that really when i think of virtual fighter i don't think of the sega genesis version why include a mediocre fighting game when you can go with an awesome racing game virtual racing in my opinion would be a great option to replace the mediocre fighting game and the reason why is there's not a lot of racing games i don't think there's any racing games on the collection and so i think the sega genesis mini could benefit from having an awesome arcade style racing game. I mean, after all, you know, the Sega Genesis Mini is to show what the Sega Genesis was capable of. And I can't think of a better way to demonstrate what the Genesis was capable of than including an amazing racing game. You know, the virtual racing, even with the additional chip that was included inside the actual cart, was an amazing racing game. The fact they were able to pull off a decent port of this way better than Virtua Fighter. Like to me, you know, if Virtua Fighter looked somewhat like the arcade game, I wouldn't have an issue. But you know, this to me is a so much of a better version. I'm sure that the Mini could run it. I'm sure they could get it to work. And maybe not. And maybe that's why they, they, they didn't want to mess with it. But for whatever reason, this is my pick, what I would choose over Virtua Fighter 2 to include in the Sega Genesis Mini, a racing game, a good racing game, and a racing game that I think that would stand up. All right, this is another title that some people may prefer, appreciate, etc. 
I'm not really one of those people. I, I think Sonic Spinball was was a weird title and not my favorite. I, I thought it was a, an interesting concept that, you know, wasn't wasn't my favorite to play. Like, it, it's, it's cool that a pinball game's added, but this is not my favorite Sonic game. I'd rather play the original Sonic. I'd rather play Sonic 1 or 2 or 3. You know, include those, not this game. This game, to me, was was an interesting concept, but to me, it's not the best of Sega. You know, to me, the Sega Genesis Mini is representing the best the Sega Genesis had to offer. And honestly speaking, I know that Sonic is popular, and that's why it's included. Sega could have done better by picking a different game. There's, there's enough Sonic on the compilation. Sonic 1 and 2, you know, awesome that those are included. Sonic Spinball, while well, interesting concept, I'd rather play something else. You know, the fact that this is not included on the Sega Genesis Mini baffles me. It's one of the best Sega Genesis games, hands down. Huge Aladdin fan. This was a staple with many different Sega Genesis owners. I think if you talk to many Sega Genesis collectors, they would say Aladdin, top 20 for the system. And the fact that it's not included is just silly. It really is. This is one of the best platforms games for the console. And so I think that this game would definitely take the place of something mediocre versus Sonic Spinball. You know, they did have Disney already included on the Sega Genesis Mini with the Mickey Mouse games. So this wouldn't be too much more to ask. I don't know if they couldn't get the licensure or I, I don't know what, but it really, it really is... a Sorely missed that Aladdin is not included on the Sega Genesis Mini. It's a fantastic game. If you haven't played this version of Aladdin, I think it's way better than the Super Nintendo version. This is truly a remarkable Sega Genesis accomplishment. Everything from the animation to the sound uh, to the gameplay, which really is the best aspect of this game. Here's yet another, in my opinion, mediocre title. I know there's fans of Space Harrier too, and you know, for me, for an early title, it was all right. But I think Sega could do better. I know that Space Harrier is a is a Sega classic, you know, and you know, I don't want to take away from what this was back in the day. It was impressive, but I don't think it's aged well. Uh, you know, to me, it's just a, a so-so game. You know, I'd rather play the arcade game. You know, there's those versions are available. But, you know, the Sega Genesis game is just so-so. I don't know. I just, I wasn't a fan of this particular port. I'm not the biggest Space Harrier fan. I'm a huge Sega fan. But Space Harrier to me has always just been kind of eh. You know, there's several of these titles that used these types of graphic effects. And, you know, I, I was thinking of Afterburner comes to mind. You know, to me, Afterburner was ten times better than Space Harrier. And so Space Harrier 2 is here. And it's included on the Sega Genesis Mini. And I don't know. I know that there's fans. I'm not one of them. Why have Space Harrier 2 when you can have Herzog's Vi? And in my opinion, one of the most underrated Sega Genesis games to come out on the console. Now, get this. Herzog's Vi is a strategy game that you control with the controller. It's amazing. It's, it's two player, you can play versus the computer. You pretty much have a, a, a jet that transforms into a robot. It's a really, really cool and deep strategy game. And it's something unique that would be awesome to offer on the Sega Genesis Mini. It works great with three button controller. I, I can't say enough about this amazing game. If you haven't heard of it before, go check it out. It's an absolute must play if you're a Sega Genesis fan. The fact that Herzog's Vi is not included on the Sega Genesis Mini is a disgrace in my opinion. Come on. Like, to me, it's like, yeah, you could show Space Harrier 2 and that shows the tradition of, you know, Sega, you know, in the arcades, you know, but I'm sorry. Herzog's Vi, you know, what, for whatever reason was not included. I'm sure it was a licensing issue or or whatnot, but oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to admit, not the biggest Alex Kidd fan. And I actually thought the Sega Master System games were better. There was an entry into the early Sega Genesis library. Not a fan, just not a fan of this floaty control platformer. Just so many better titles out there. And I just didn't think it was the best 
that, that the Genesis could offer. And you know, I just it's it's just it's kind of cute. I could see why maybe they wanted to mix it up with kind of a a cutesy platformer. Why have a mediocre platformer? when you can have something like Rocket Knight Adventures. And this is done by Konami, an absolute amazing platform title with a cool gimmick. You know, you have a jet pack, you have, you know, a really cool character, you can jet around, and it's just, it's just great, it's awesome. I, I really appreciate this title. It had a lot going for it, great gameplay, great graphics. You know, this is one of Konami's best on the console and the fact that it's not included i mean you have konami on board with castlevania why not include this like you know to me this is so much better than an alex kid entry like come on a lot of fun to capture footage using actual physical carts on my mega sg this was a lot of fun to do i wanted to jump on this opportunity to talk about sega genesis which is one of my favorite absolute favorite home consoles so there you have it. Those are the titles I chose to replace. And what did you think of the titles that I chose to replace them with? I had several things to consider when I made these selections. There were several other things to consider when making this video. I thought of many sports titles to include on the Sega Genesis Mini. Really surprised they did not go after like an NBA Jam or NBA Jam Tournament Edition. I'm sure it was licensing issues why it stopped them from doing so but it is quite shocking that there wasn't at least one racing game one sport game i mean you know to me the sega genesis mini is going to be representing the best of sega genesis and so the sega genesis with over 300 sports titles on it should have at least one representing it on the sega genesis mini so there are my final thoughts i had a lot of fun doing this video thank you so much for the ongoing support I have a new schedule of uploading videos in which I upload Sunday at 10 in the morning as well as Wednesday at 4. This is when I'm uploading this video. So what did you think of the video? Did you like it? Comment below as I march towards 90,000 subs. Thank you for the ongoing support. This is the immortal John Hancock. Thank you so much. You take care.